Welcome to Dr. Michael's TV, Episode 5, Replacing Silver Amalgams with Ceramic Fillings. Very often, patients come to see their dentist to replace old fillings such as silver amalgams. These are fillings that have probably been there in the patient's mouth for many years, causing the teeth to look a little bit more dark. Once the patient is comfortably seated and the x-rays have been checked, the dentist goes through the procedure of replacing the filling prior to making the patient more comfortable. starts with applying a gel on the outside of the tooth to numb the soft tissue. A few drops of dental anesthesia is applied so the tooth is numbed. This usually takes about one to two minutes. The old silver filling is then removed gently. Once the entire filling has been removed, the margins have been smoothened, the tooth is being prepared for an impression. Replacing old silver amalgams is usually a two-step procedure. On the first visit, after the tooth is numb, the silver filling is removed, a silicone impression is taken. This final impression is sent to the dental laboratory together with an index or a bite which is taken just after the final impression is taken. The impression is looked upon to see that all the margins are clear. And the bite index is something that just takes 30 seconds to take to get the proper occlusion for the final tooth. A temporary filling is placed followed by a check of the color of the final ceramic filling. The dentist makes sure that there's no excess on the temporary material and that the patient has a comfortable bite. The color check is done and noted on a pad to send to the dental laboratory. When the patient comes back for her second visit after a few days, the tooth is again made ready with a few drops of anesthetics and the old temporary filling is removed. Once the temporary filling is removed and the tooth has been washed, the ceramic filling is tried in. Once placed in its proper position, it is followed by a check of a dental floss to make sure that the ceramic filling has hard, proper contacts to the adjacent tooth. When the trial is satisfactory, the tooth is polished with a polishing paste to make sure that there's no material left. The tooth is now ready and a flowable cement is inserted into the tooth for the final cementation of the ceramic restoration. It's inserted into position 
with a special instrument and all the excess of the flowable cement is wiped off to make sure that there's no excess lying on the adjacent teeth. A small brush is used on all sides of the ceramic filling to make sure that no excess cement is lying there. A dental floss is inserted between the inlay and the adjacent tooth. It is now followed by pressing the inlay into position and the light cure is put there to set the cement into position finally. After a proper light curing procedure of 20 to 30 seconds, the ceramic inlay is now ready and the occlusion is the next step to be checked. floss is removed. This will of course check that there is no excess flowable cement there and it is now followed by a check of occlusion. This is to make sure that the patient has a very comfortable bite. The occlusion foil shows if there is any spot where the tooth is high. Any high points are quickly adjusted with a small diamond burr and the whole ceramic inlay is inspected in its position. This has given the tooth a beautiful new life.